Transformer fans. Once again, it's the one and only up to bottom is coming to you with another video review. And on today's episode, thanks to all of the absolutely incredible contributions from my Optibotomous Plus channel members, specifically the one and only TJ and Emma, we are going to be taking a look at the new Transformers Kingdom Voyager Class Tigatron. One of the newest figures from the Transformers Kingdom line. This is also one that is really sought after. And for some reason right now, probably due to the fact that all the ships are like off the coast of Long Beach right now, this guy does seem to be a little bit more difficult to find. But hopefully with time, everybody that wants this guy is able to pick him up. For the package, much like all the Kingdom figures, you got that really nice Transformers text with the Generation logo right up there. You have a uh, open window from about the waist up that showcases the figure. And you have gorgeous art right here of Tigatron in both his beast mode and of course his robot mode. And that looks fan-freaking-tastic. I love that. Initially, I thought that Tigertron was basically going to be a repaint and retool of Cheetor. It wasn't until more images came out that we actually discovered that while he utilizes a lot of the same engineering, he's actually larger than Cheetor because he is an entirely new mold, which is as it should be. Uh, you come around to the side of the package. Of course, you got that really gorgeous Kingdom logo with the golden disc, Galvatron, Unicron, all that stuff right there. And then when you come around to the back of the package, you got images of him in his beast as well as his robot mode. Tigertron was always a, a favorite of mine in the original beast wars line not so much in the uh, new kingdom series it's almost like they took the character traits of dinobot and tigatron and flipped them at least when you compare the original characterizations of them with how they were kind of depicted in the newer series but for the package on this guy that's about it so without further ado, let's get him out here and see how cool he actually is. And here we have Tigatron opened up out of his packaging and obviously in his Siberian Tiger mode. And as I mentioned, Tigatron was always a favorite of mine. And basically utilizing the engineering that they used for Cheetor really worked well for Tigatron here. Obviously increasing the size to a Voyager allows you to put some extra engineering detail into him, which also helps to further differentiate him from that deluxe figure that we got a little bit ago. But as I said, you got this gorgeous Siberian tiger look. One thing that I don't know how I feel about, I know that the vintage toy had it, and I know they're kind of going along with that here, but you have some off-white throughout. I mean, you got the very nice white throughout the majority of it, but you can see like this off-white, which to me just kind of comes across as like pee in snow and i'm not i'm not the biggest fan of that again i get why they did it that way i just i'm not the biggest fan of it but the stripes look really nice the sculpted detail all is really well done as you can see uh, he does come with this gut gun which i know a lot of people wanted the cheetor figure to come with you can see the little gut section here and then the whole gun it is very accurate to how it looked in the the show in terms of the design I don't know if I like the weapon storage for it, though. You put it underneath there in his little uh, sunken-in nipples, whatever. I mean, I, I wish they could have figured out a way to actually incorporate this into his gut area. That would have been cool. But you do have that, which is a, a nice additional kind of accessory to him at the higher price point. It, it does make sense. He also does come with... His tail weapon, much like Cheetor did, you can see it just plugs in here. I'll leave that in there for the time being, but completes the look. You do have a little bit of robot stuff kind of hanging off here with the feet sections right here. And then you got the very gorgeous metallic blue right down there. Very similar to what we got with Cheetor, but the rest of them cleans up very, very nicely. Articulation-wise, is all the exact same as the arm design is pretty much the same. The leg design is all the same. Uh, the head, you do have, I guess, <laughs> you can rotate that down but there's nothing really in terms of articulation there you can open his mouth though you can do that with cheetor as well and his is, there we go that's a real step but great uh, additional little articulation bit there uh for some comparisons obviously because he is a voyager figure he will be a little bit bigger than cheetor but again you can see that the design here just works beautifully a cheetah is a smaller cat than a, well, in this case, Siberian tiger, but you can see that a lot of the same elements are there. But it's not just a straight-up reuse of things. Like, these arms 
are done up larger than what Cheetors were. Same thing with the back legs and everything, which will become the legs in both uh, robot modes. I mean, everything is very similar, just upscaled uh, very, very nicely. Let's uh, bring in some other ones. I mean, that just looks great as it is. Uh, another Voyager class figure. Uh, here is Rhinox. So again, you can see the size working pretty decently there. And then, of course, we, we have to bring in his amazing significant other. Here is Air Razor. Now, Air Razor is a considerably larger animal than it really should be. But uh, bot mode turns out to be pretty good. I mean, that really does. The, the scale here is fantastic. I'm loving that we're getting all of these beast wars figures and for the most part we've gotten almost all of them there's a few that are still coming out and it does make me very excited for the future of this because as i said we're pretty much going to get all of the characters now first transformation first what we're going to do is remove the tail if you haven't already come down here to the legs kind of pull these away straighten those out and a lot of this you're going to see is very similar to Cheetor's transformation. Just kind of straighten that out and then fold this up. One part that you're going to see is different is the underside here has this little fill-in bit, which is nice. First, pull the little foot out from the back. That's going to collapse in as you bring this up. Cheetor did not have that, which is nice. Rotate that all the way down, and then you actually do have a heel, which is kind of tricky to get out, but pull that out just like so. Straighten out that leg. So again, do that on this side. Kind of pull this piece out and then you can take the beast mode leg fold that down that will automatically pretty much collapse that little fill in section get that all the way down pull that all the way around just like that use the little uh tail to help things out bring that down just like so take this head section here you want to kind of pull this away from the body and then separate this it does tab in very tightly and you can see my arm legs popping off so just pull that away just like that. That's going to hinge around. You can bring these around. You're going to put those kind of in whatever kind of position you're going to want it to look like. But again, just kind of play around with it and uh, just kind of stretch that out. Take these, pull these out, and then straighten that down like that. you got double hinges here, so kind of make sure that those are completely straight. And then separate these arms pulling them all the way out like so this head section here again it's a little bit different you want to fold this piece down and then fold his robot head out collapse this piece back up and in that kind of sits right there and then this whole thing is going to hinge down and lock into place i actually like taking the uh, the mouth and opening that just a little bit just like so and then take these side panel pieces fold those in those will tab into place along the side just like so then these arms just rotate all that down and around like so kind of make that go as far back as you can again just kind of play with this these you can kind of position however you want um i'm, I'm trying to remember if they crossed in the uh, the cartoon i know cheetors did i don't remember if tigertrons did now that i think about it but when you're done get that situated like so there you have tigertron in his absolutely gorgeous looking robot mode and as much as i love that beast mode i think the robot mode is even better i know we, we use the term mini masterpiece a lot and i i really feel bad for doing it again but there's no other way i can really describe this other than calling it a miniature masterpiece with the price point that this is, I'm really quite impressed. This guy looks terrific. Every aspect of him captures how he looked in the cartoon. As you can see, he does have his gut gun right here that he holds very nicely. You can also have him hold uh, his tail whip weapon, which, you know, it, it's, a, it's a tail that he can hold and whip around. As a Voyager figure, uh, he does get a little bit bigger than uh, some of the other cat bots from the show so coming up here to uh get a real good look here obviously is his little mini buddy here is cheetor and again uh I, I think the scale here works beautifully uh he was bigger and it was very noticeable in the show so again this works just about perfectly now spreading him out to the side here let's uh get him kind of looking at the camera here let's just 
kind of showcase yourself tigertron here's a another voyager figure here he is with rhinox and again uh rhinox should be a bigger boy um, he doesn't like standing very well because you know he's he's rhinox so let me fiddle with the feet a little bit uh, but you can see that the size here again i think works very very nicely while still being a big character and big figure, Rhinox does have a little bit bigger of a presence, which, uh, for me, works in terms of the character. And, of course, we gotta bring in his love. The one and only Air Razor, who eventually uh, merges with him, if you guys remember correctly. And, again, size-wise, it works. Everything about this, it, it, it nails it. Well, for me... I like my Beast Wars figures to remain in their beast modes. What Hasbro did here with the scale really is nice and is, for the most part, accurate to their on-screen personas. Now, for his articulation, you can see that the head is on a ball joint. You get a nice range of motion with it, a little bit of up and down, but not a ton. Gorgeous face detail on there as well. You come in here to take a closer look. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. While he does have some teal elements throughout, which is accurate, the face, as long as well as the uh, the shin sections here, do have that metallic teal, which again looks really good. It's just very regal looking, a pacifist by nature. That was one of the aspects that I really liked about him from the original show. Something that they changed in the, the Kingdom line, and I, I kind of talked about that earlier. That I feel like. They swapped the uh, character traits of Dinobot and Tigertron, kind of making him a bit of a hothead, almost like Dinobot was in the original series. So, not a big fan of the new characterization of him, but the figure still, look, still looks really good. Uh, you can do whatever you want here with the back, but you can see that it cleans up fairly nicely. All that same paint detail is still there, including the ugly like, pee in the, the snow look. And then you can even kind of see you have some like metallic white right here on his thighs, which does give a slightly different look to the rest of it, which does, again, really nicely replicate. Oh, even a little bit up here in the forearms. There's some real good paint detail on here. It's not just like a white figure, which is really very nice. So you do that, have that articulation there. The shoulders here do have a swivel, a hinge. You have a swivel at the upper part of the bicep. I do have a tendency to... <laughs> constantly keep having to fiddle with this just to kind of keep it in the proper sort of positioning you do have two bends here at the elbow for a good range of motion you do have a wrist rotation you do have a waist rotation which honestly surprised me with all of this here i didn't think that was going to get uh incorporated at all you also do have a forward and back thigh you have a rotation at the upper part of the thigh bend here at the knee, the ankles do move forward and back, kind of as part of the transformation. Then, of course, you do have the ankle tilt for any kind of crazy ninja poses that you might want to do. But a great looking robot mode. Absolutely terrific. Uh, I, I said it once, I'll say it probably several other times. Little miniature masterpieces. And I just talk about that because realistically, it is. I, I mean, the, the masterpiece figure is out, the masterpiece figure is phenomenal. Uh, but for the price here, you get basically a masterpiece quality Transformer figure. Now, first, transformation back. First, kind of lift these up and then come around here to the side and get the arms out of the way and bring these little side pieces out first. It's a little bit easier to do it now than later and then just kind of force that back to be lined up with the little uh, shoulder sections. These arms are going to double hinge these down and then these are going to come all the way down and collapse right like that so again do that on this side bring that up and then bring that around just like so kind of keep that lined in there we are uh, now the head section here you're going to want to pull that away and then pull this section forward then rotate the robot head down creating the back section right there bring that up and then you can kind of sit that right there then at this point, you're going to bring these arms in and connect them right at the center. You can rotate these around, kind of position these how you want, and then fully collapse that head all the way down. Give that a good little push right there, kind of getting that as close as possible to being together. And there we go. And that's just like that. These legs here, you're going to take the heel, fold that around. This is going to rotate around. That's a little bit easier to pull this out 
and then this whole section here kind of just push this down and then bring the foot inside that section just like that and then bring all that down just like that straightening everything out there so again do that on this side i'm going to pull this out pull this and then that whole section is going to go down there that fills in that little section along the bottom bring that down straighten everything out for the most part you're just kind of right now just sort of fiddling with this guy a bit go ahead take his tail plug that you know what i want to do i wonder if you could do that that no that doesn't even really fit in there so that's that's it well you kind of can get it in there but i just thought that would be weird but just take the tail plug that in there and then when you're done there you have tigatron back in his beast mode overall while i don't like the characterization of tigatron in the new kingdom line that's not necessarily why I wanted this figure. I really like the character from the original Beast Wars series. And regardless of the characterization, the figure here is an amazing representation of the actual character. Beast mode, he looks spectacular. Everything on here cleans up really very nicely, even uh, to me a little bit better than I feel La uh, Cheetor. I mean, you do have the bits here on the back and the little feet thing, but uh, for some reason it just... It looks cleaner, I guess. Transformation is not really that much different than Cheetor's, although it does do a few new things. I really like the little section here that comes in and fills in the front part of his uh, back leg and then the head. I, I really do like how that actually kind of folds in and does a good job of uh, being incorporated in both modes. And then, of course, robot mode, spectacular. I only really wish they didn't have this. I mean, I get why they have that discoloration there. I totally understand it. I wish it was a little bit more clean. Uh, my guess is they'll probably give us some kind of a Netflix version of him. That'll probably have a more white look, which will fit better with that white Siberian tiger alt mode that he had in the uh, the cartoon. Uh so I'll, I'll be more interested in that, obviously. But this is a, a good stand-in for right now. And then I also do wish that they had a way where they could have uh, incorporated his gut gun to actually be uh, part of his gut. So uh, there's, there's you know, some minor things about him. He's not a completely perfect figure, but in general, turned out fantastic. And without a doubt, I would recommend this to you guys all day long. Now, as I said, right now, he is slowly hitting various retail locations. I, I don't know if it's the whole uh, pandemic thing and the supply chain issues that's causing kind of issues in him getting released, or if it's just a case of this is the end of the kingdom line, and a lot of times, those last few figures have a hard time getting out into people's hands. So if you're looking for him, good luck and happy hunting. But uh, beyond that, guys, that's about it. There's your look at the new Transformers Kingdom Voyager Class Tigertron. I want to thank you all for tuning in and watching. And finally, remember that the real trouble with the world is that too many people grow up. Thank you once again for tuning in. And until next time, I'll talk to you later.